Imagine your country suddenly uncovering $7 trillion worth of a rare, high-tech mineral buried beneath its soil. For Kenya, this scenario is now reality. The country has made an extraordinary discovery. Massive deposits of Colton, a critical mineral used in cutting-edge technologies like electric vehicle batteries and aerospace systems. But is this discovery the dawn of a new era of prosperity, or is Kenya walking down the same destructive path taken by other resource-rich nations? The Announcement The news broke with a resounding impact, not buried in a quiet press release but making headlines across the globe. The Ministry of Mining and Blue Economy confirmed that extensive geological surveys had revealed vast deposits of Colton in six Kenyan counties, Embu, Samburu, Turkana, West Pocket, and Tana River. Early estimates place the value of this find at $7 trillion, marking one of the most valuable discoveries in Kenya's history. The Scale and Potential The geographical spread of Kenya's Colton deposits is truly remarkable, covering a wide range of terrains from the arid expanses of Turkana in the north to the fertile lands of Embu in the east. This extensive distribution of resources not only highlights the scale of the discovery but also signifies the profound potential for regional economic transformation. The deposits span across six counties, each with its unique challenges and opportunities. In Turkana, the harsh, semi-arid environment could benefit from a robust infrastructure upgrade to support mining operations, including better roads, electricity, and water supply. The introduction of mining could offer new avenues for employment and investment, potentially turning a historically underserved region into an economic hub. In contrast, Embu, with its lush agricultural land, could see a boom in agribusiness alongside the mining industry, thanks to improvements in infrastructure and logistics. The fertile land could serve as a critical base for the development of manufacturing industries, such as those processing Colton into higher-value products. The possibility of setting up special economic zones, SEZs, dedicated to mineral processing and manufacturing could lead to the creation of downstream industries, which would provide jobs, foster technology transfer, and encourage local innovation. The nationwide impact could be transformative. As mining operations expand, related industries, such as construction, transportation, energy production, and retail, will experience growth, stimulating local economies across Kenya. The opportunity for Kenya to become a major player in the global high-tech minerals market is substantial, with Colton playing a critical role in the production of electric vehicle batteries, renewable energy storage, and aerospace systems. By integrating these industries into Kenya's economy, the country could shift from reliance on traditional sectors like agriculture and tourism to a more diversified, industrialized economy that competes on a global scale. This shift has the potential to reshape Kenya's economic landscape, creating lasting wealth, infrastructure, and development opportunities for generations to come. Global Attention The discovery has sent shockwaves through global markets. International tech manufacturers, especially from Asia and Europe, are already reaching out to Kenya to secure future procurement deals. The global Tantala market, long dominated by countries like the DRC and Rwanda, now faces a new player with reserves large enough to influence global pricing. Local Reactions At home, the news of Kenya's $7 trillion Colton discovery has sparked mixed reactions across various regions, with each community holding different hopes and concerns for the future. In Samburu County, local leaders are excited about the possibility of the mining revenues being used to fund much-needed infrastructure projects. The region has long faced challenges in terms of underdevelopment, and the discovery of Colton could mean significant investments in roads, electricity, and healthcare. The promise of job creation and economic growth is generating optimism, especially among the youth, who have struggled with high unemployment rates. In West Pocket, there is a palpable sense of hope that the mining industry could offer employment opportunities and stimulate local businesses. Many in this area see the potential for small businesses to thrive, providing goods and services to the mining industry. However, while there is excitement, the community also remains cautious aware of the need to ensure that the benefits of the discovery reach them directly. Meanwhile in Turkana, the mood is more reserved and cautious. The region has seen past resource discoveries, such as oil, which promised significant local benefits but ultimately did not deliver. Community leaders are wary of repeating the same mistakes and emphasize the need for robust protections, particularly concerning land rights. They are adamant that any agreements made with foreign companies must include clear provisions for fair revenue sharing and land ownership protections. Local leaders also call for transparent governance, 
so that the wealth generated from Colton mining is fairly distributed to the communities in Turkana and not siphoned off by external interests. Given the region's previous disappointments, there is a strong demand for safeguards to ensure that the benefits of this discovery truly translate into long-term prosperity for the people of Turkana. Economic Opportunity or Trap The excitement is palpable, but experts warn that Kenya could fall into the same trap as other resource-rich African nations. Without the right governance and infrastructure, the country could face rapid exploitation by foreign companies, environmental damage, and local communities left behind. The Strategic Value of Colton Kenya's Colton reserves aren't just valuable, they are strategically critical. As demand for electric vehicles, renewable energy storage, and advanced electronics grows, control over tantalum supply chains will become a geopolitical issue. Kenya's entry into the global mineral market will bring not only multinational corporations but also powerful state actors vying for influence. Key Questions for the Future How can Kenya harness its newfound wealth? If Kenya is serious about keeping the lion's share of its $7 trillion, it must avoid the temptation to export raw ore. The real profits lie in refining Colton into high-value products like tantalum capacitors used in electronics. Can Kenya build the industrial capacity to process its mineral resources? Countries like China have succeeded by investing heavily in refining infrastructure and creating technology parks. Kenya can take a similar approach, but it must first establish special economic zones, incentivize local manufacturing, and develop domestic research in mineral processing. How will Kenya navigate the geopolitical landscape? The stakes are high. Nations like the US and China are already securing supply chains for critical minerals. Kenya must balance its interests and avoid becoming overly dependent on any single foreign power. How can Kenya protect the environment and local communities? Mining has devastating environmental impacts and can lead to displacement of local populations. Kenya must adopt sustainable practices and ensure that mining operations respect local rights and provide long-term benefits to communities. The Path Forward Kenya's path forward will require careful, strategic planning. If the country can manage its newfound wealth responsibly, through value addition, technological innovation, ethical labor standards, and environmental protection, it could become a global leader in mineral processing. However, without the right frameworks in place, Kenya risks repeating the mistakes of other resource-rich nations, where resource wealth led to corruption, exploitation, and environmental devastation. Conclusion the discovery of $7 trillion worth of Colton could transform Kenya's future. The challenge lies in how the country manages this wealth, ensuring that it benefits all Kenyans and doesn't fall victim to the same traps that have claimed many nations before. The world is watching, and the stakes couldn't be higher.